Godfrey is a pretty difficult boss. If you get too close, he'll turn the ground into lava, and then if you don't get close enough, he'll spam shockwaves. It literally feels like Godfrey is cheesing us at times. And Horalu is just as bad. Fortunately, I've got a way to defeat Godfrey and his naked second stage in less than 20 seconds. This is currently the only working exploit slash cheese to take down Godfrey, and it is so satisfying. So for this video, I'll tell you what you'll need, then I'll slowly break down how to do the glitch. Then finally, I'll show you the glitch in action, absolutely dominating. So to do this glitch, you're going to need three things. Firstly, you'll need the Uchigatana with the default Ash of War unsheath. You can get this one of two ways. The first is by selecting the Samurai as your starting class. And the second way is acquiring it from Death Touched Catacombs, which is located in Northern Limgrave right here. The second item you'll need is the Serpent Hunter Spear. This can be nabbed at the very beginning of the boss fight with Rikard. Simply walk through the boss door and it'll be chilling there on your left. You don't need to fight Rikard, so you could just quit and reload after grabbing the spear. Lastly, you'll need throwing daggers. You can get these from Carle, the merchant in the Church of Ella, or if you've killed him, then bring his bell bearing to the twin maiden husks at the round table, and then you can buy his inventory from them. As an added bonus, it might be worth bringing a friend as a distraction whilst you're doing this glitch, as it can take a while to master. There's a part of the glitch that we'll get into later where you need to drain your stamina, and obviously you need to be in combat for your stamina to drain, so having a friend keep the aggro here would be ideal. If you don't have anyone to play with, don't worry. We have thousands of Elden Ring players in our Discord looking to cheese, trade and duplicate with you. So I will pin the link in the comments. It might also be a good idea to practice this with someone in PvP just to get the hang of it. So this is going to sound complicated, but trust me, once you understand the steps, it's incredibly simple. If I can do it, I guarantee that you can too. I'll be giving the instructions referencing PlayStation controls, but this works for PC and Xbox as well. Firstly, make sure your throwing knives are equipped in your quick item slot and highlighted. With your Uchigatana, hold L2 to sheath your weapon, then press R1 to do an attack. From here, don't move your character at all. Now, go into the item menu and switch your Uchigatana to the Serpent Hunter Spear. This process doesn't need to be fast, but to make things a bit more simple, I'd recommend putting all of your other weapons away in the chest. Once you swap to the spear, press circle to backstep. Then you can begin rolling in any direction, preferably forward. The idea here is to drain all of your stamina. If you accidentally walk or sprint instead of rolling during this part, you will have to start again. Once your stamina is depleted, keep holding forward and spam square. This is the button to use your throwing daggers. And then as you see this animation, immediately hold L2. The timing with holding L2 at the right moment is definitely where you'll struggle the most, but I promise you it is doable. It took me around an hour to master this glitch. From here, keep holding L2 and you now have a deadly weapon that will shred anyone in literal seconds if they get too close. Even though it begins to drain your stamina and your FP, it will keep going once they are depleted. So a quick recap, you want to hold L2, then press R1 on your Uchigatana, swap over to your Serpent Hunter Spear, backstep, begin rolling. Once your stamina is depleted, holding forward, start spamming square. Then as soon as you see this animation, hold L2. And here's what happens when you manage to pull it off. Now go have fun and don't forget to hit subscribe.